Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, last video we just did, we looked at the revenue estimates for Amazon and predicted going from about 380 billion to 1.1 trillion. Now we're gonna take a look at OPEX and building that out. And then in the last video, we'll uh, fill in the DCF and get a valuation here. So first thing I did was, so AWS North America, we broke out revenue for that. AWS International, we broke out revenue for that. And we have the details available to get at a margin and then all other. So if you watch the revenue video, all other is actually gonna encompass online stores, physical stores, third party sellers, subscription services, and other. We don't have enough detail to break out the margin specifically for those business units, but we do for everything else or for AWS, I should say. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is here's the consolidated information. We have total OPEX, and then they break out OPEX into a handful of categories. And those categories are down below. And so the first thing we're gonna do is actually just calculate these as a percentage of revenue, or percent of sales, I guess. Um, oops, we'll start with that and we'll see what we get. So cost of sales. There we go. So we can kind of see how these things have trended. And now from here, we will back into some numbers for the other pieces. Um, so we have total operating expenses for everything up here. And then for the all other. And I think the first assumption I'm gonna make is that fulfillment cells are not for AWS or the fulfillment costs. Those are gonna be 100% tied to all other. So we'll link this up. So fulfillment gives us this. Let's make this black since it's linked up. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these other costs all flat. So what I mean by that is marketing costs, right? 5.3%. Instead of trying to say like, oh, they do less marketing in AWS versus the rest of the business, I'm just gonna say they do 5.3% of marketing for all of the business regardless to hold that constant. And while it may not be perfect, that's what we're gonna do for these categories. And I think it's gonna get us the best kind of estimate that we can get to try to get at the actual cost of the service. So technology and content, we're gonna take the 11.8% and we're gonna times that by our revenue. And we should be able to just do that. Let's make sure that that all linked up marketing, GNA, and then other. Cool. So that should work. Um, we should now be able to just paste that in. If I did this right, which I clearly didn't. There we go this down to this piece. Okay, so that should be good now. And now really the remaining piece is the cost of sales. So that's just gonna be a simple formula. It's gonna be our total operating expenses minus the sum of all these other pieces. And that'll get us our cost of sales. Should be able to just paste the formula. I believe I did that one correct. And then we'll just check to make sure that some of these things sum. So 8968, 8968, yep. So it looks good. And we should see really high cost of sales here for this other piece, because this is really um, their business where they're reselling all their crap. Um, so yeah, very high there. Um, well, so I guess those two combine when you add the fulfillment 270 on 340. Um, what does that get us? Eighty percent. And if we take a look at um, just to kind of baseline this, if we look at Walmart, right, four twenty divided by five fifty five. Let's do that real quick. Oops. 
75 percent it's a little bit worse margin so there, there could be some improvement there um, but a little bit worse than that of amazon so we have that part done let's go ahead and um, look at cost of sales as a percent of revenue and see if this has been getting better or worse over time and so for aws it's getting better operating expense total as a percent of sales let's see if that's which direction that's trending i would assume that should be very similar and should be trending better um, same thing here just paste those and then we'll do the same thing for this piece of the business Oops. and this one is a little bit more all over the place and total expense rate is you know almost 100% um, and and I guess actually maybe let's add in a um, for this one fulfillment percent of revenue I think that'll be an interesting metric to look at too so yeah that's going up it's kind of what I would expect um, honestly so Anyways, now we can go ahead and um, forecast out the rest of our expenses and we'll uh, get get something. Um, so let's start let's start up here. Let's make this blue. Looks like we've been seeing improvement for the most part um, at about a percentage a year. Um, right, we've gone down roughly 4% in five years. So let's just take off three quarters of a percent a year, um, right? Five years time will be down. A little, little under 4%. Maybe we take, yeah, no, we'll just leave it at that for now. I think that that's a, a fair assumption. Um, and we'll actually probably just keep this exact same assumption for international as well. Um, so we can do that and then these other ones we're going to hold constant, at least, you know, I think for the most part, right, marketing, you know, I guess marketing's kind of been all over the place. Um, maybe as they get bigger, right, it actually gets a little bit better. So we'll give them credit there. You know, as revenue grows, brand awareness increases, we'll give them a little bit of credit over time, right? Because on 1.1 trillion, you probably don't need to spend the same absolute amount. Um, GNA, I think, is one of those things that's similar as well. Just because revenue increases $100 million doesn't mean your GNA is going to increase directly proportional. So maybe we get rid of a. Uh... No, that... oops, sorry. There we go. Something like this. It'll be a very subtle decrease in GNA over time. Um, maybe that's even too much. Maybe we do a quarter percent. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's fair. Um, cause the, these costs in most businesses, they stay pretty flat to sales, but I think with a company like Amazon, right? Like your costs aren't going to necessarily scale. Your facilities aren't at full capacity right now. And you know, more productivity gains to be had this, I'm just going to set to zero. Um, I don't, I'm not going to make an assumption around um, other income, right, continuing or not. And it's already pretty dang close to zero. So let's just set that to zero. And then these pieces we'll, we'll fill in later. I think technology and content's an interesting one. I think it's dipped this year because due to COVID, right, the filming and things stop. So if this is content in the sense of original content for Amazon Prime, right, you have some savings there. Probably expect this to actually kind of go back up. Um, maybe we get back up into the 12% the range. And then once we're kind of back in the, the range there, we can kind of hold it, hold it steady. I think this is a hard one, right? Like, 
don't know quite enough about it to really make a, a super accurate prediction on it, but I, I think that's probably fair. Um, and now we can link all this stuff up, right? So technology and content. Um, oh, this should actually be linked up as a percentage of sales. And then I can uh, should be able to do that. And then I should be able to just copy this, and paste down. Um, so that works for for that aspect of it. Cost of sales will. Um, this is also actually just the formula there. There we go. So this one's all nice and linked up now. Um, we can probably just take this and paste it here. Fix that real quick. Oh, oops. There we go. And then we will, um, this will just be a sum now, just so we can look at the total, see how the total is changing over time and how it's staying as a percent of sales. So yeah, we have it, you know, in, improving materially, right? It's down 4% in five years, down 3%, then down 5%. So I think it's probably reasonable if they can continue these kind of, these gains in that sense. Um, let's sum this up. And then we'll copy this over. And this should give us the basically the same margin profile, just the way the math kind of worked out. Um, we don't exactly, we don't have the ability to break out operating expense between international and regular. So it was just kind of an even split between the two. But we were able to break out the sales piece, which was kind of the important piece for, for forecasting. Um, so very similar margin profile. And then I think this is the last piece here. And this is a little bit tricky. So we look at fulfillment, right? It's been growing. I know they've been kind of deploying all sorts of stuff. I don't know how or when this stops growing. To be honest, I don't know. I mean, it, it looked pretty good there and then it spiked up with an increase in volume. So it's kind of, if volume continues to go up, fulfillment goes up as well. Um, it's definitely a tricky one. I mean, this has looked like it's hovered around 60%. And I think if we remember, let's see, 420 divided by 555. What is that? 75%. So we're at 78%. Obviously the models are different, but they're similar. Um, set of running stores or running fulfillment centers, but similar. So, you know, I don't think we ever get better than 75% if I'm being honest. Um, so maybe we do this subtract half percent get us down to 60 percent hold that there and then maybe we just see like kind of a return here let's see that gets you to like over time 76 percent i mean a little bit worse oh, what the heck is going on here there we go. Get you to 77%, a little bit worse than kind of Walmart. Um, I think that's fair. Without, you know, trying to dig too much into this, I think that that's a fair assumption. Um, let's do that. Copy that across. Same thing here. And then I think for these ones, right, it's just the same. Same as before, and then we'll calculate kind of how the margin profile is changing over time. And my guess is it gets better, but not much better. So yeah, you know, from being barely profitable to just barely more profitable, um, probably reasonable margin expansion expectations, I think. And then I think the consolidated view will be interesting. Um, 
So here, I guess we could actually just link that up here and we'll have that. And then that'll give us a little bit of insight into, let's see. How overall cost of sales changes. A little bit better. And then um, fulfillment should just be a little bit better as well. Oops. But you see kind of more fulfillment. It looks like there's more fulfillment margin expansion just because we have AWS revenue growing. And then when you look at it as a percent of total sales, obviously, right? Um, more and more of this is made up of AWS. So this has slight improvement just purely because of that. Um, just something to keep in mind when thinking about how it kind of fluctuates there. Um, and that's why we calculated it separately here um, as a percentage of just net sales of this piece. So um, yeah, I think that kind of wraps up this. Uh, in the last video, we'll go ahead and we'll put this all into the DCF and uh, review valuation and see what kind of what kind of value we get based off of this. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks.